Hello, my name's Ewan Cameron. I'm a curator with the Royal Air Force Museum. As we're commemorating the end of the war in the Far East, I thought we'd have a look at an object that would have delivered the news of the Japanese surrender to a bunch of people who'd been rather keen to hear it. This is a radio constructed by Allied prisoners of war. This was made by Warrant Officer Len Beckett at the Batu Lingtan camp in Kongqing in the former protector of Sarawak, which is in the island of Borneo. The Imperial Japanese forces launched their invasion of Borneo on the 16th of December 1941, and by January 1942 the whole island had been occupied. A series of prisoner of war camps were established throughout the island, with the Batu Lingtan camp being slightly unusual in, it, in that it both had military and civilian prisoners. Len was asked to make this radio by the senior British officer at the camp, and you can see how it's been constructed out of anything Len could get his hands on. This is actually a mess tin, that's a bit of a Norton bike, and this generator was a, an afterthought. The radio was first used during February 1943 and became the camp's main source of information about the progress of the war. But the information gathered from it had to be treated very carefully in case the Japanese got suspicious. In fact, a number of prisoners had been executed at another camp in Borneo when a radio had been discovered there. By complete coincidence, on the day of the surrender announcement, the prisoners had been given the day off to mark the third anniversary of the opening of the camp. The guards, who hadn't heard about the surrender, thought that the celebrations were just the prisoners making the best of their day off. When the camp was finally liberated on the 11th of September, the formal handover ceremony was interrupted by Len, who brought the radio up to the rostrum to show it to the former camp commandant, who apparently was less than impressed that it escaped his guard's attention. If you'd like to see some more objects associated with the war in the Far East, pop onto the RAF Museum website, where you can book a free time slot to visit the sites at Cosford or London.